Welcome. The topic today is logarithms. Evaluate without using mathematical table or a calculator the following. So in this problem, we have the values 32, 128, 729, and 27. We are going to factorize them and express them in power form. So we have 32. So logarithm of 32 can also be expressed as logarithm of 2 power 5 because 32 is 2 power 5 plus logarithm of 128 that is 2 power 7 minus logarithm of 729 that is 3 power 6 and then the same also should be done on the denominator we have logarithm of 32 32 is 2 power 5 plus logarithm of 2, so that is already simplified, minus logarithm of 27, and 27 is 3 cubed. So here we are going to recall that that is the laws of logarithm that are going to apply here. The first one, logarithm of A plus logarithm of B should be logarithm of a times b we also have secondly logarithm of a minus logarithm of b this should be logarithm of a divided by b and finally we also have logarithm of a raised to power b so this becomes b log a so applying these laws here in the numerator we will have logarithm of so addition means multiplication just like we have here addition multiplication so we're going to have 2 power 5 times 2 power 7 and then subtraction means division subtraction division so we are going to divide by 3 power 6 that is 3 power 6 right here and then for the denominator, we are also going to apply the same. So we have logarithm of 2 power 5 times 2. So 2 is just 2 power 1 all over because we're subtracting. So all over 3 power 3 right here. So simplifying this on the numerator, we are going to have. So applying the laws of indices. 2 power 5 times 2 power 7 so we add the power so that is 2 power 12 and then the denominator is to 3 power 6 sorry and then finally on the denominator we also have logarithm of 2 power 5 times 2 power 1 that is 2 power 6 over 3 power 3 so at this particular point we realize that for the powers, they have a common factor, and that is 6 on the numerator. So we are going to have logarithm of. So we factor out the common factor, which is 6. So that is 2 power 2 over 3 raised to power 6. And then on the denominator, we have logarithm of. Again, we have 3 is a common factor here for the powers between 3 and 6. So we are going to have 2 power 2 over 3 raised to power 3. So at this point, we are going to apply law number 3. So that we are going to have, so for this part we have 6 times the logarithm of 2 squared over 3. So 6 logarithm of 2 squared is 4, so that is 4 over 3. And on the denominator, this becomes 3 times logarithm of 2 squared is 4 over 3 now. Okay, so on the numerator and denominator, we have logarithm of 4 over 2, which will cancel. And so we will have 6 over 3, and that is 2. So finally, that is the answer to the question. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.